This is SAT test three, non-calculator question number 11. College Board gives us a set of three lines intersecting a single point. They tell us that x plus y equals u plus w, and they ask which of these must be true. So let's look at the geometry of this situation. For three lines intersecting a point, the angle at x must equal the angle at t. But also, since x plus y, this angle, equals u plus w, this angle, and since x plus y plus z equals 180, and u plus w plus t equals 180, since x plus y is equal to u plus w, that gives me x plus y plus z is the same as u plus w plus t, because they're both 180, but this expression equals this expression, so z equals t. That means this angle here is equal to t, but t is already equal to x. So z, t, and x are all equal, and since z and w are also equal, all four of those have to be equal to each other. So we know that x does equal z, we just proved that. We know that z does equal to t, we also just proved that. The question is, does y have to equal w? And I don't see anything that proves they're equal, but let's try drawing a diagram that satisfies the words of the question where y is not equal to w. The only requirement is that three lines meet at a point and x plus y equals u plus w. So, in this picture, x plus y equals u plus w, but y is not equal to w, so it is possible for number 2 to be false. That means the correct answer is that only 1 and 3 only must be true, so that would be our choice here. College Board often asks about the angles at intersection intersecting lines. Come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.